If you've been following me, you know that I love transcripts. I think there's something really special about long form audio interviews. We really get some incredibly compressed nuggets of information. I was just looking, there's already over 4 million podcasts in total and AI podcasts have increased nearly 400% since the start of 2023. So there's a lot of podcasts. It's impossible to listen to them all. And I've been trying to figure out how can I actually extract as much of this information from them as possible. So ChatGPT 4.0 Mini came out. It's a really useful model because it's so cheap. We can feed in huge context and actually just feed it through multiple iterations of prompting. So I've set up this uh, automation here. I'm going to give it a run and while it actually runs through I'll talk through a bit about what's happening. So the first thing we're doing is we are getting a file from a drive. So in Google Drive I've got transcripts of lots of different podcasts. This one's called Fundraising AI which is specifically for fundraising in the nonprofit space. And first we're iterating through to actually identify what are the most interesting quotes that it's found. But I quite like this, we're getting the context in which this quote was extracted from, plus who actually said it within the podcast. I don't know if this is 100% correct, to be honest, but the idea is really to get the, the emphasis on that quote. The good thing about this is, if I actually find that this is a really valuable podcast based on the quotes, the nuggets, and the use cases that come out of it, then I'm going to identify this as a podcast that I really do want to listen to next. So you can see we've got a few quotes there. If we come onto the nuggets, I'm just going to pull this down and unbold them. We've got some really good nuggets here. So the urgency of AI in fundraising, um, the power of data in nonprofit marketing, empathy as a driving force for change. Within that, we've also got a summary about why it's important. So empathy is crucial for creating meaningful connections and driving lasting change in both nonprofit and for-profit sectors. We also get and some ideas about content that could be created from this concept as well as a longer quote. So this is the idea here is to get a bit more context about what has been said and why that is useful. We'll just jump on to the use cases next. So we've got analytics and reporting for corporate social responsibility and marketing, influencer marketing for nonprofits, ooh, kaleidoscope score for nonprofit engagement. So this is really interesting. This tool helps nonprofits understand their performance and identify areas for improvement, enhancing their ability to connect with their community. So this is something that already has you know, sparked my interest. Um, we've already got another few use cases coming through from the next transcript. And over time, just be able to continuously go through this, see what kind of quotes are really standing out to me. Um, I love this idea about compressed knowledge, you know, almost what is the post-it note type information that just says so much. And I think in these quotes, in these nuggets with different summaries, ideas, and, and, and use cases, we can actually find so much value. So this automation is now running. I've got quite a few things running through at the moment. And you know, this is going to be incredibly cheap. As I said, we're using ChatGPT 4.0 Mini. So it's going to be really, really useful to be able to filter through lots and lots of transcripts and just continuously extract what I think is really valuable information. So hopefully this has sparked some curiosity in you about how you can leverage automation and transcripts. And if you'd like to chat transcripts, let me know. As I said, I'm doing a bit of a deep dive into this topic at the moment, really exploring different ways where we can extract, compress, and distill that knowledge. So I'd love to hear from you. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.